How many people know about your welcome mat? No one. You should come over sometime, especially if you speak Hindi. I have a welcome mat that says welcome. And then it has, Indi underneath welcome, there's Indi this Hindi script. Underneath the welcome. It says Madocho. No joke. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct tweets of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, it's or juicy content. You know how it goes. Thanks to Patreon, fellow should account. And subscribe if you haven't, and uh, ring the bell to be a part of the notification squad, you little marachots. Today we're doing a movie review. Of the 2021 or 2022, I don't know. Because uh, I... I it said it was coming out, and then I don't remember when it actually hit theaters, but it had just hit OTT platforms. But uh, yeah. the new film uh, called <coughs> Kadaisi Vadasai. It really, it, I said this to Indrani. I said, it's, 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 I hate that so many films that we see, especially from South India, have titles that are so difficult to pronounce and yeah. difficult to remember because we wind up saying the blank movie yeah. because we don't know how to pronounce it, which was endearing in some some spots, like the Deborah film and Gersnatch. Because we're big and, dumb dumbs. Uh, uh, Bajramastani, which was... Uh, Bajram Bajramastani. Mastanani. But, yeah, anyway. Anyways, but it's directed, written, produced, and edited... Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, cinematographered mm -hmm. by... Um, M. Manakandan. Uh, and then starring, say his name, Nalandi. And I mistakenly, when we first saw this, thought this was going to be a v Vijay Sanapathy star. Film. Yeah. He's a very supporting character in this, along with Yogi Babu, uh -huh. who we've seen before. But uh, this is Nalandi. Nalandi. This, this is his film. This was his He's first film. He was, I, him and most of the village as well were just, I think, village people that yeah. they casted in this film yep uh and, this, and then he sadly passed away yeah before he ever got to see his film which is incredibly sad incredibly sad <laughs> it's so sad yeah. uh anyways but it's gonna be 100 cents for review we saw it on sony liv if you haven't watched it go watch it come back ricky your initial thoughts please um oh crap i just realized when i did this uh the numbers i didn't put the numbers down on there okay well uh, yeah, but, go back yeah, to the go last back one. to the last one which was the cashmere files and then add it and yeah. you'll get to that. And we'll get to that in the um, next one. I was originally <clears throat> writing, and it was too long, and I just cut to the chase. Okay. One of the most beautifully Indian and universally human films I've, ha I've ever seen that I consider to be the best film we've seen thus far this year and the one I believe India could consider and should consider if it was this year as a front runner for submission to the Oscars. You hated it? Why? God, I mean, it, Rick hates Tamil films. I loved it too. I love it. I think it's a phenomenal. It's gonna be a long review. <clears throat> There's so much to talk about. I think about. it's a uh, absolutely phenomenal what a film. Uh, almost fly on to wallish kind of film. Um, gave me vibes of the other village type films that we saw, like Thithi and and um, Care Dash of. Blah, 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 but it obviously had its own feel and its own uh, rhythm about it and it had its own messaging I thought everything it's incredible that this man has never acted in his life you uh, know what it reminded uh, me of in that regard huh? it reminded me um, I put it in my notes um, if you've seen the Florida project I talk about how oh, yeah. I just the lead actress in that uh, Bria um, yeah uh, I don't know her name but I know who you're talking about Bria Veneta yeah Bria Veneta is the, the lead in that. She had never acted before. And it's pretty astonishing because she does an Oscar-level performance in that film. Um, yeah, we... we this, this guy was... Incredible. Uh, I, this was so believable that if the cinematography and sound design and lighting weren't so magnificent at that level of artistry... I, I might have considered, because documentaries are just raw footage. You're not thinking about lighting. You're not thinking about framing. They're typically not really incredibly well done unless you've had a lot of time to do it. Like my octopus teacher, a lot of documentaries are, are kind of raw uh, guerrilla filming. This felt like a, this felt like the, I was just watching real people in a documentary in this village. And essentially you were. 
Yeah, because like, out, was... out, outside of Yogi Babu and, and Vijay Sadapati, yeah, they were they were all just actors that they and we've seen that a lot yeah. from Indian cinema, which you don't get here, hardly ever outside of small films like Florida Project, right? Where you get non actors or people that are actually like in this situation that right. they're like, hey, you want to act in this? Film? It used to happen a lot more, yeah. Like in, um, uh, it's not an Oscar worthy film, but Days Confused. The kids, they was famously walked into a mall and saw kids that looked like the guys they wanted to cast. And right. They turned out to be terrible actors, but that's what they did. Yeah. Um, you've seen it a lot in Indian cinema. A lot in Indian cinema. How? Because I guess... And it's been going on for a long, long time. I guess you can get people that act in a... Like, are part of a village to just be like, do, do what you normally do. I'm just going to film you. Just yeah. don't do anything. And they don't know how to act. They don't know how to pretend. Yeah. So they're just like, okay. <laughs> and so I guess... Like that, and he was giving me what's his name? He just passed away not too long ago. Uh, old man, been in the industry for a long time. God, it's killing me that I'm American or Indian. American. Um, he was in. Oh God, it's gonna kill me. Um, kills me. Sorry. Uh, Christo, uh, oh, Christopher, Christopher Plummer. Plummer. I like old Christopher Plummer vibes uh, for for a long time. But man, he was so good, and it's just because he wasn't acting. He wasn't, and obviously that's what the best actors have to do. But they have to get over their training, and we've talked Correct. about this all the time that they don't like, use their tricks, and they have to actually be believable. He was just being himself. Which, right. If it works, it works better than and, any other actor. And it works when you just need them to be that person for that film. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. what they don't, what an unexperienced actor can't do is incarnate multiple beings yeah. and remain like an earphone where you're playing countless different kinds of beings and you're consistently not performing. Yeah. But I I was staggered <clears throat> at a lot in this film that we can talk about. Uh, assuming y'all have seen it, yeah, if yeah, you yeah, have yeah. not seen this film, Once again. stop watching the review. Sony Live. Go watch this film. It's on Sony Live. Uh, it's... Once again, it's not a Vijay Sadapati. We'll, we'll talk about Vijay Sadapati. I thought he did a fantastic job, but he is not the star of this film. Uh, the star of this film is Nalandi, and he does a phenomenal job, and it's a phenomenal overall film. Yeah. Once again, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. And I, I really feel like, whew, man, where to start? Because, uh, well, let's. I guess let's start with acting, and then let's get into the overall yeah, the technical engine, yeah. things beyond that, and the story itself. Yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. Uh, you heard what we have to say about him. He he's just. He, he, Believable every he, frame of film. He brought so much, um, obviously realism, um, but like you deeply cared for him. Oh my he, goodness! He, even even if in you've obviously we've never been to an Indian village like this, but you know people like this. An old man who's just always gone about his business and worked every single day his entire life, uh, and he doesn't want money. He doesn't. He just his 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 life is his job. That's yep. what he wakes up to do. Yep. And everywhere in the world, there's people like that. Old, yeah. old, like my uh, my stepdad's grandpa was like that. He had worked on ACs from the time he was like 15 till 80. Mm -hmm. His entire life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it's just, it's a very relatable character. And then you see this awful stuff that's like happening to him. And he was like, I just, I just want to go back to, to my field. Yeah. I'm the only one who can do anything. What do you? <laughs> but he's not like causing a fuss because he does. He knows he can't really do anything. Um, but man, he was just. It was so good, and we'll get into more of the story. In the yeah, yeah, that. yeah. But everybody in this film did a really good job. Vijay Sadapathy, I thought, was made a very interesting character. I loved his character. Uh, I thought it was so interesting. Um, and there was a lot metaphorically going on in this film as well. And, and well, spiritual. Yeah, which we'll, we'll get into when we talk about story. And but spiritual now, wise, but the acting. His character, and I know we haven't seen enough of him, but I love. I love his character in this. I thought he did a, did too. a really good job. It was so unique. I thought he did so many things that I've never seen him do before. It's very different from even in songs or the films that we have seen of his. And I know he does that. That's been we already knew that obviously before this. But man, I thought he did a, a really really good job. And it, to to create this quirky, unique in his walk and his way he carried himself. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Again, the, the key to it all is believability. You know, Corbin and I talk a lot about the difference between a movie and a film. Yeah. And they're both, they're both motion pictures. 
but a movie is primarily something that's created for entertainment purposes. It may have elevative artistry within it as it does that, which is a bonus, mm. but it's not something that is the criteria for it to be a movie. A movie is just something that you go and you watch and you love. Mm. We always talk about Grease as the quintessential example. A film is something that is always characterized by elevative artistry at all levels of artistry, as well as important universal truths and morals to stories. And that's why this is a film. Mm -hmm. This thing on every level. And and with the acting, I, I just was so taken. Even in the courtroom scene, here you are in the courtroom scene or watching it, and it reminded me of court. Yeah. Uh, because the, the, the actress who played the judge was... Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I want to talk about her. I thought she was and, a good girl. And every single person in that room, every single person in that room, I'm watching them all, and uh, there's moments, you know, he's t what'd she say? And then one of the person over there is just, just going... It, nobody felt like they knew the camera was on them or that they were doing something because it was going to be seen. Everybody just felt like they were these people in this village dealing with this real thing. And it never, from start to finish, every single actor in this was believable the whole way through. Mm -hmm. The whole yeah. way through. The the judge who you were just talking about, I thought, one, I feel like we've seen her before. She's not on IMDb. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I, I don't know her name, but I, God, I know I recognized her from... I can't place her. not multiple things. Yeah. So please let me know where we know her from. But she did a great job. Wonderful. At, one, being this, this judge who obviously has to bring a certain amount of um, authority and... And elegance with her, but also bringing the empathy of, she was like, why is this old man here? Which thankfully was written that way. Yeah. She actually was, a, she was somebody, you know, there's a point where she says something that's right, mm -hmm. and one of the older village ladies in the back, there's just a quick shot to her, and she goes, because it's very clear, and then they go back to the, um, uh, the little person standing yeah. in the window, and she says, uh, she says, I'd vote for her, and you wouldn't even have to pay me, basically, <laughs> right? I loved her too. Oh yeah, we'll get into we'll get into the rest of them. Yeah, but yeah, I, I she did a great, great job, job at bringing the the heart, uh, a lot of the heart of this. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about the ending. I, I love the whole ending, everything about it. From once again, this is spoilers. When he thought he was dead, I, I which I knew. Yeah, there's several things I knew were going to happen. Yeah. That was one of them. I'm like, yeah. they're going to come out there. He's going to be dead, and I thought he was dead. Yeah, so did I. Yep. I was like, oh, this is. Super interesting. They they obviously took his life away, and, right. and, all and it, it was and symbolic of like his field died and he yeah, yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. Made and sense. <laughs> and made <laughs> I, I laughed out loud. It was brilliant. So much better than if he had just like woken up from a nap. Yeah. The fact that he pops away huh. like that. Yeah. <laughs> so so good. So good. Like because obviously he probably never takes naps ever, and he's just exhausted. So, so he's but just he never exhausted. He's been in jail for two freaking weeks. Uh, but then I then I love I love the whole ending. Uh, but don't want to get into that. Sorry. Yeah, um, we'll get into story um, more. But yeah, there's so many actors. I thought, uh, even though he was in a tiny little bit, but Yogi Babu, I thought had a really nice, interesting character, interesting, interesting story character. Uh, in there. I love, and I, she's not on here, and I'm sorry. I know. Um, the act. Give her credit. There's like five people on the whole. She was goddamn wonderful. IMDb. But the 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 little person who was 22 and 22 this, years old, wanted uh, a husband. She was great. She was freaking great. I love her. I want to see more of her. I, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I want her to I work hope she's more. in more films. Please. Uh, because I, I, I really enjoyed her performance and I her, did too. her personality. I really, really liked it's her. So believable. In fact, there was a moment there I'm like, okay, come on. You, you're telling, you know, it reminded me of the greatness of first time acting believability of the guy whose name is escaping me, but he was nominated for Captain Phillips. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who when he, if you haven't seen Captain Phillips, see that. And there's that moment, you know the story, where when they were filming, the first scene, the first day of work he did was the takeover sequence in the captain's home with Tom Hanks. And he's in there, and Tom's about to say something, and he says to him, hey, hey, I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. That's all improv. And Hanks said to him afterwards, said, you've never acted before? For, it, for somebody to know that they can go off script just because they're so in character like that, mind-boggling. She had a moment like that mm -hmm. where... The, the the guy, forgive me if I'm calling him guy, I don't know if he was technically a priest who's there with the oxen yeah. to she, you know give her the, tell her her fortune about what she's going to get. And she says, I want a husband. And then when he says, here, come close so that you can be blessed, she gets underneath and she has a little interaction because she got a little bit annoyed that the oxen was as close to her as she was. And she kind of went, eh, eh, eh. There was another thing that happened like that with, uh, I forgot who it was with the elephant. 
Yogi Babu. Was it Yogi Babu who was walking when they were walking into the thing? Yeah, it was his his interaction with the elephant. They're walking in and the elephant like sprayed him as he's walking in and he gives it a look and that's what you do when you're a really good actor. You yeah. don't like stop and look at the director and go, do we need to redo it? The elephant got me wet. You use it. Yeah. She did that. Yeah, she did a great yeah. job. I really loved her. I'm hoping she's, I, maybe she was just part of the village as well. You know, like She's a great addition. <sighs> she's not an actress. I think she should be because I think she's really good. Agreed. Uh, did a really good job. Yeah, the overall story of this uh, film, and there's so many elements that we will talk, because there's, we got to talk about the directing, writing, filming, and score. Cinematography, score. Sound. Yeah, there's there's a lot. The overall story uh, was really, really interesting because you're, you're wondering where it's going to go and, and what the whole overall message is. But and then I, <laughs> I loved the ending. For all of you who think I don't like happy endings, I love this ending. <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. Uh, I, I, loved, I loved the whole ending of it. From, obviously, when... He thought he was dead. Right. And he pops up. But basically that on, when obviously the judge was bringing him to, and then all the, all the village came up, and the police also helped, and then they had their whole festival. From basically that moment on, I was just smiling the entire time. I was yep. like, this is wonderful. I love this whole thing. I'm so happy. And then obviously he went in, and it was like, I'm not going to just sit here and let you guys work on my I, field. I got I got emotional from from the point of him standing up and looking at his field. Yeah. That had died, which I knew was coming. Yeah, I knew it was coming the minute the cop bathed in the water. Yeah, I'm like, son of a bitch, your, <laughs> all of your toxins are going off into his field. Yeah, and then when he did the thing, and the guy were not. There's so much to talk about story wise, but I, I was, I cared so much about this man. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, uh, can we jump real quick into the genius of the cinematography? Yeah, go ahead. Right from the beginning, so much beauty in sky shots mm -hmm. so many there was one shot Thank you, drones oh my goodness and there was one stable shot i don't know how they did it but it was up on those tile roofing looking down into where he lives toward the beginning and i thought oh come on and then they immediately cut to a ground shot that was probably a steady cam carry in or it was a dolly if they didn't have a steady cam but the daylight was exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they had set them both up at the same time with two cameras so they could get them simultaneous, but if they didn't, they struck and reset in a matter of five minutes so that the shadows were... Shooting exteriors are so hard on a bright, sunny day because 15 minutes later, the shadows are different. And the shadows were exactly the same. These shots of those beautiful hands, not mm -hmm. just his, that sequence on the wheel when he's making the jars... And I'm reminded of all those videos we watch of the artisans in India doing these jobs that are dying and they've been around for centuries. And yeah. his beautiful feet, those those old that are... <clears throat> talk about a movie that tells you if people are connected to their land. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Just yeah, the, and it, gorgeous. Yeah, the cinematography, you just... it's There's so many things that are striking oh. about this film. But yeah, cinematography, almost immediately. Because... Immediately. Um, I and think it, it never starts. Stopped. I think it starts with the drone shot, actually, because I think it goes over. It the does. Hills. It's a beautiful drone, and right as it comes over the hill and shows you the place, you see in the, in the distance, middle foreground, the little first credit of yeah. the film. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was really great. Just off the bat, you're like, okay, and it reminded me because obviously Malayalam, since they have such a beautiful landscape to film. You get a lot of like, oh, that's a that's gorgeous, gorgeous, that's gorgeous, and this had that exact same feel, just in like this this certain village wherever I don't. Where did they say what state did they say they were in? Oh, was it Tamil Nadu? Yes, I think Tamil? it was. I'm no, pretty no. sure it was Tamil. It's a Tamil film, so yeah, I, I didn't I'm know. I'm pretty sure it was. If I remember my research. Um, but yeah, so like it had so much gorgeous landscape and the cinematography, and I thought even the court shots were really pretty and just how they were set up because it just looked like just like in court it looked like a fly on the wall and they did it. some people might not like fly on the wall films because sometimes they can get boring per se if you're not like invested in the story but man if you just tell a, a wonderful human story i think people are invested it, obviously I unless you just want action and people, then obviously this is not your thing it really okay here here's a great example when I was a server at a restaurant called Brio, there's all kinds of food that people can eat. All kinds of food you can eat. The masses, for economic reasons, but also because of palates that haven't been established to do it, tend to eat a lot of things that are garbage mm -hmm. when it comes to food quality. Mm -hmm. I will never forget 
this dish that we used to serve at this restaurant. It was Chilean sea bass that was served on a bed of leeks. The sea bass was marinated in sweet sake and soy, and then it was covered in a coconut lime sauce. The, one of the greatest pieces of fish I've ever had the luxury of ever tasting. Mm. That's what this movie is. And it's the same kind of appreciation for fine artistry that comes in the culinary world, that comes in the photography world. There are some photographs I've seen, just a black and white shot of a guy who's a rancher in Texas who stood for the guy at the camera, and he's not a model. He's just the guy who wanted to take a picture of him. And you look at this picture, and that picture tells you so much that you can look at it for 15 minutes, even though nothing's going on. That's how I feel about great cinema. That's the fly on the wall kind of film like this is, where the moment, just, just go grab the dirt, put it in the jar, fill it with water, set it in the sun. Mm -hmm. Watching that and then him bringing it back and him being amazed that it grew the little neem tree, I think it was. Yeah. That's, Yeah, it's beautiful. And in, in the overall message of the film, of I mean, I'm I'm assuming there's a bunch of different messages. The, yeah, there are. But like, um, we can't get into all of them. And, and some I'm sure that, for time that we weren't aware of, uh, obviously. Yeah. But I know, obviously, like the city kind of taking over and not caring about the village life and 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 their priorities. But you know, because they got to go through these mundane procedures of. Which is ridiculous what this man had to go through. <laughs> yes. Like, the fact that... I mean, it here in America, it would have been thrown out day one. They would yeah. have had to wait for any report. The judge would have been like, wait, this your witness didn't see him do it. Right. Correct? Correct. Why the yeah. fuck are we here? Yeah, you would not <laughs> you would not remand the prisoner for two weeks. No, you'd remember it the, would be done. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. So it was Obviously, I know it's culture differences and different procedures, that. and we're I just saying all that. from our perspective why it's, it's shocking to and, us and infuriating. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like why just let him go. But the the other thing for me that I think is a really big credit, I I'm sure I could be wrong. I I'm just making a supposition based on what I've seen. Uh, this movie made me want to learn more about the plight of the farmers in India, and I think it did a beautiful job of pointing out that farming in India is as much a part of India as is anything else that is Indian. That it's part of the soil, it's part of the skin, it's part of the motherland, it's part of everything of who they are as a people in terms of their, not just their culture, but in terms of their, their, their livelihood and a part of the way of life, which is really true about all humanity. We, we, we here in America, for years, there's been the, the plight of our farmers and, and what they can do and why we need them and why we need farming. And I felt like this did a really great job of not uh, being, what do they call it, virtue blasting or virtue signaling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wasn't virtue signaling. This was being very clear in the, in the recognition of making a much broader picture symbolically to also talk about the realities of what so many people, and not just what the farmers deal with, because I'm so ignorant to that, but it makes me want to learn more, but any group of people who are doing things that are contributing to the world in such a beautiful way and in connection to the world versus the other people who think what they're doing is enlightened. I love the scene. Mm -hmm. It speaks volumes of this film where he goes in to get his tomato seeds and goes, ah, these are seedless. And he's like, what's the point of a seedless freaking tomato? God doesn't make seedless things. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, but this is the white man made this. It's so that you can come back and buy more. Capitalism, you son of a bitch. And I love when he says, I hope the guy who came up with seedless tomatoes, I hope he has a son with no testicles so he has a seedless son. That was great. He brought a lot of humor. Great. Once again, for being a guy who's never acted before. and Oh, my goodness. The fact that he brought so much humor and so much warmth and so much humanity it's such a human movie once 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 again because uh, obviously we get told this all the time like you won't understand it's very cultural right i mean i got told that about this film because people think that just because it's in a village we won't understand if you tell a human story exactly we're gonna understand everybody poops obviously all, we all have universal truths that obviously we live with. there's certain things <laughs> that can that well like when we saw that malayalam film with uh, uh right Mohan, with Mohan. Mohan, which we appreciated but we were like i'm sure there's a ton of stuff that went over our head in terms i'm of sure there was a ton here like i'm sure there's symbolism with vj's character yeah. and the particularity of the the, the peacock and yeah. him disappearing and that 
we'll look back five years later and go, oh, wow, yeah, I missed that. Yeah, yeah, for absolutely. Sure. But obviously, the overall film, if you just tell a human story, people are going to appreciate and relate to your film. Humans relate to humans. It's just... Yeah. yeah. And and the Indianness of it with the, 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 the symbolism of the peacock. Yeah. I love that whole story. I love... It showed you so much... <sighs> this is great. This is why we talk about exposition and stuff not needing to be said. Just show it. The very fact that this beautiful man buried the peacock in the middle and the peahens on the sides. Mm -hmm. Didn't just bury them. He buried them with a, a, a sense of order to mm -hmm. them, spoke so much about this man's character mm -hmm. that when the judge says, this is the kind of man you're bringing in here, you're on the side of the villagers and the side of everybody else going, yes, I'm glad you see it because we know the character of this man based on the fact that we've been watching him for the past two hours and yep. know he shouldn't be in here. Yeah. And then uh, another thing, uh, the score. Oh. Uh, uh, and I'm sure, I apologize if we don't get to talk about everything. It's we try to it's and then too we much. forget. People always like, I'm so disappointed you didn't talk about blah blah. I'm sorry, I meant to. Uh, <laughs> but the score in this was gorgeous, so good in in a lot of ways. So subtle, like non-existent at certain times. Yep. Uh, it's it's. I thought it was an absolute perfect score. It, it, it says it was composed by Raja Sir. I don't know if that's because there was I think a movie song in it. I don't know. Like uh, one one time, right. I think there was in the background there was like a movie song. I don't know if that was Raja Sir's, and the the rest of it was Richard. Harvey's? Well, the score, at one point, I put in my notes, you know, there's some of the things I wrote in here were utterly fascinating, gorgeous score. Um, and and then he, I, I, it felt like the color purple at yeah. one point. It was so beautiful. And symbolism, like I wrote here, um, how, there's the line, somebody says, how can you prove that you're a citizen of this country? Somebody says that line, and then the next cut, and the score is accompanying this, we see his feet caked in soil, just sitting there. We see, someone says it, and then there's a quick shot of his feet, and that's, that's all. And that, it's like, you want the answer to the question? There it is. And the score accompanying that, it really, I really meant that. If it had been in consideration, or maybe it can be for this year, this is an exceptional film that I think Academy members and people the world over can see this and recognize everything about tradition. Because as much as I think this is probably a very Tamil film, I think it's a, it's an Indian film and it's a human film. Yeah. Uh, there's so much to talk about. Yeah. So much to talk about. So we enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> in case it's one. It's, it's going on my list of my one of my all time favorite films. Yeah. I love this. So your movie. favorite Tamil film? Did this you, is my favorite Tamil film. Did you look it over? Did you look over? Yes. The... This is this is. It may not be the one I want to always watch. Uh, I always use you know favorites best. Favorites yeah. versus the ones I like to watch the most. But if someone were to say to me, "What is a film in recent?" Because the classics you can't. Yeah. But what's a recent film that you would recommend I see from the Tamil industry that shows the excellence of their artistry at every level without even thinking or blinking, I would say. That's the one you want to see. Um, so I'm looking it over here. There's a bunch that are really entertaining. Oh, some great ones. I mean, 96, again, with VJ is, is one that I absolutely love. But as good as that is and contemporary hey, as that is... The, I love the fact that this is so universal and so generational. Bar, the old, uh, yeah, that. great, love that. I mean, there's I could knock, I could knock off four or five that I love, but this would be yeah. for me the a great the one. top of the artistic. I still love rung. super deluxe. Uh, for me, Avi, I know it's not for you. Yeah, VJ thought about it again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what a shock. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, what? Let us know what you thought about this film uh, down in the comments below. What should be our next Tamil film, and what should be our next VJ? Thanapathy film, whether he's supporting or starring, um, outside of Vikram, obviously, which is coming up, which is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Kamal San, Fiji Sarapathy, and Fafa in one film. Very exciting. Uh, please let us know what you thought about this film, which will be our next Tamil film. Da.